Jim here again, and today what we're going to do is set up our uh, Big Agnes Copper Spur uh, UL3. Uh, this is a lightweight tent, and uh, I'm getting ready to go canoeing up in uh, Woodland Caribou Provincial Park. And uh, I'm bringing one hammock, but we also need a tent for, uh, for my uh, son and daughter. So um, we're going to set this up, and then it's supposed to rain according to the uh, um, weather report, but uh, the sun is shining, there's not a cloud in the sky, and we're just gonna test out our equipment. So there you go. All right, so let's take her out and, uh, and get working on it. Uh, Sean, why don't you come on out here and uh, let's, get, let's get going. All right, so we'll take her out of the stuff sack, and we'll lay, lay the stuff sack over here. And then we have our, uh, our stakes and our uh, uh, footprint. So we'll lay the tent down, open up our bag up with the footprint in it, and here we go. Lay out the footprint. Let's get going on that. Of course, you always want to make sure you keep these little bags, so you stick it right back in the main bag. Okay, here we go. We've got our main footprint. You want to put it bottom side down. You can tell the, the bottom from the top the way they've got the webbing sewn in. Okay. There you go. Lay that baby down. It does have fully taped seams. Uh, which uh, all the big Agnes uh, equipment does. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and work on the, the main body of the tent. So, uh, let's spread this guy out. Uh, let's roll him out. There's our poles. All right, take the main body of the tent. Here we go. Open it up. All right. Okay. There you go. Grab the main body of your tent. Okay. I'm going to bring it over to that corner so that it fits the footprint the right way. All right. Okay. Now, our poles, comes with the uh, shot cord loaded pole system, all right, okay, got our stakes that come with it, all right, that's for the uh, fly, here's the main system and it just snaps together. Go ahead and just let it snap in there. Okay. And it's got two hubs. So you let it snap into its hubs. All right. Okay. We snap that part in there. Take our time. Snap into place properly. Okay, all right, and there you go, all right, I'm going to turn it, there you go, bring it over the tent, here's what we're going to do, we want to go ahead and get one or two of these guys put on at the top, uh, here's the center, I'm going to put the center one on, okay, put this one on here, there you go. that one. Okay, now you take the corner piece. It comes with the, the tent has eyelets and so does the um, footprint. So you're just going to go ahead and put the end of the pole, the little, the little uh, 
nipple and pull through and through, pull. Okay. Now one of the things about the tent is it's color coded. So we got green uh, straps and buckles on this side and black at that end. So it's very easy to set up. All right, now we step over here to the other side. And we're gonna go ahead and get our tension set in. Okay. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to pick it up. Pick it up. There you go. Grab your eyelets. One more clip here, which you use for the crossbar. But the crossbar goes in, and uh, it uh, once you get the fly on, it goes in and has two clips for the ends, and then the, those those are the top of your um, vestibules, and it goes over the top of the tent, across the middle, like this. So, go ahead and put this guy in, I suppose. Uh, no, I think we want to put the rain fly on first. All right, so let's get our rain fly. It does have reflective guy lines on it. All right, again, you can, you can tell the difference of the, the inside where the seams are and the outside where they're just sewn through. And again, tape seams. So we don't have to worry about uh, seam sealing. All right. So why don't you go ahead and take it? You see the zippers will match where the where the doors are. So you want to take your green, green to green, and black to black. So there's the green side. And there you go. So green to green over the top. Right. And then black to black. All right. Now, the, uh, you got it set up here, right? No. So green to green and black to black. And that'll give you the doors where they belong. Okay? Then, at the top by each door, you've got a little pocket where this fits in. So let's open the door. Doors have Velcro as well as zippers. All right. So you want to go ahead and Again, we're going to go ahead and tuck it in. All right. All right. Now, I'm going to put it on here. Okay. Now, on the tent itself, on each side, there's a little clip here, and on the same side over there. Hold it open. Find that little clip on the tent itself. 
Alright, now on the on the crossbar, there's a little plastic tab. A little clear plastic tab. There you go. Turn it. And I'll flip the clip into that. Alright. Do the same thing on this end. Okay. Now that gives you, again, your structure for your vestibule. Alright? And then it's just clips black to black, you clip it down. Again, reflective tabs on the on your coyotes here. Black to black, we go over here. We do green to green. basically the tent. You can open up the, the doors here. They have, they have loops. Air it out. And, a, and another great design feature of this tent, shows you the folks at Big Agnes are thinking, Velcro fastener, and there's a little vent strut right here, okay, that has a Velcro tab on it. So you just take that strut, you tab it to the Velcro here, and that holds out your vent, reduces your condensation on the inside of the tent. Full coverage rain fly, very helpful uh, in the blowing wind, and as I said, you've got your reflective guy outlines and reflective tabs. Again, reflective tabs and guy outlines all the way around. Okay? Okay, and uh, you can roll the doors back and they've got the, just a loop and, and uh, toggle. And uh, another great feature of the Big Agnes uh, Copper Spur is the size of this bathtub. It comes way up here, seamless, all the way up here. That's a, you know, even when it's staked out, it's six inches off the ground, and then they give you another six or seven inches. So you're not going to get a lot of splatter inside your tent through your uh, mosquito netting. It's a net top, two doors on each side, and the doors uh, fall down and in to the tent when you unzip them. Again, people are thinking uh, about about what people are experiencing in the field. So the folks at Big Agnes obviously know uh, what a camper wants when they're out in the field. Brown. Okay? And that is the Copper Spur 3, an ultralight tent. Uh, it weighs, I believe, uh, under four pounds. Um, I'll have to get on the website and get the actual weight. Um, but uh, it's great, and it's really, really big. It, it sleeps two people with lots of room. They, it's classified a three-man tent. All right, so there we go. We're going to leave this guy up. Hopefully, we're going to get some rain tonight so I can make sure that it's leak-proof so my children can stay high and dry in the North Woods. This is Jim, signing off. Uh -huh.